You are not your thoughts, and to really understand this can be life-changing. So to demonstrate our relationship to our thinking, I'm gonna look a wee bit silly for you. Each ball is a thought, like, my name is George. I grew up in England. My love language is vegan brownies. I know all the words to the Tarzan soundtrack off by heart. So there you go, the stories of who we are, we construct from thoughts that pop into our heads that we identify with. Would you like to meet your storyteller? What's your name? There you go, there's one of your thoughts. So if we really understand this, it leads us to something tragic that we can only laugh at, which is that there's nothing intrinsically George about me. If I was born in another country, I'd have different thoughts, I'd have a different story. And in the various times of my life where I haven't felt good enough, it's not like not good enough is a physical quality of the universe. No, that unpleasant feeling came from judgmental thoughts that popped into my head that I identified with. And so isn't it astonishing the amount of pain that we create in our lives because of stories that are only true to the extent that we believe and identify with the thoughts that pop into our heads. So you are not your thoughts. And if you want to find freedom from your thoughts, this is where meditation comes in. Meditation is like taking off the hat because rather than every thought that pops into our head sticking on, suddenly we have a, a more slippery mind. We learn that actually thoughts can just pop up in our awareness without us needing to do anything with it, without us needing to identify with it. So can you start or recommit to a meditation practice? There's a lot of freedom for you to find there.